Bruh, it's been a good minute since I've done one of these, but can't wait to get into it. Sure, y'all can't either, especially since y'all seen the name of this video. Y'all seen the title down below. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into this and not keep you waiting any longer by simply bringing in the uh, intro. Yo, what is uh, good, you guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another um, unboxing or unpackaging. Uh, I guess we'll, right, we'll we'll just keep the thing going, even though technically this is a package. Um, but yeah, finally, finally, after much anticipation, after waiting, you know, ever so patiently for so long. Just saying. I uh, finally got my Jackson Pierce bundle here in the packaging and uh, yeah. But uh, real quick guys, before we actually get into this, um, I, I really need to talk to y'all because man, I, I need to talk to somebody because uh, as you guys probably saw from the Facebook postings and other things, um, yeah, I've been, been dealing with, with a lot lately. Um, the drama at work is finally calming down um, the person that I was having issues with in regards to their attendance and relieving me on time. They're now coming into work on time, which is making my life a lot easier, a lot less stressful, thank God. Um, but then uh, some other things have happened. Um, I did <clears throat> uh, kind of made, made it known that one of my theas uh, for those of you who don't know what, what the word Thea means, Spanish for aunt, um, yeah, I found out she, she passed away <clears throat> um, a few days ago. Um, and yeah, I'm still I'm still processing that. Um, they're actually um, and they're actually going to be ho hosting her wake, um, not this past Saturday, but the upcoming the next upcoming Saturday. They're hosting her wake and uh, your boy of course gonna be there you know because you know family and um not only that um got into it with, with, with my ex that i've had a i've had an on and off thing with she's trying to basically weasel her way back into my life so the best thing i could do is friendship and if that ain't enough and you know i don't know what else to tell you um, and she started pulling this whole, oh, woe is me crap, you know, basically giving me this sob story about, oh, how everyone, it's, it's everyone else's fault, people, you know, don't want to be around me and all this and that, blah, 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 people give up on me and everything, and it's like, ah, I'm not going to do the same BS with you over and over again, because, you know, truth be told, I wasn't the one to call off the relationship, she did, and when I would remind her of that, she absolutely refuses to um, accept accountability. She refuses to hold herself accountable for calling off the relationship. And that is why I will never get back with this girl. I told her, you need to work on yourself. You need to get yourself together. And I can't promise you nothing at the end. That doesn't mean that, don't, don't expect me to just welcome you back with open arms. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, you need to work on yourself because I'm not saying I'm perfect by any means. I'm far from perfect, but last thing I need is, you know, someone like that dragging me down. And, um, you know, I got my own things I'm doing with. Like I said, my aunt just passed away, so I'm focusing on family right now. You know what I mean? Uh, wanted to be with the family, wanted to reunite with the family, <clears throat> you know, to pay my respects. And then, uh, with all these things going on, um, I... I accidentally snapped at, at a good friend of mine. I won't. I won't say their name. You know, out of respect for their privacy, out of respect for you know keeping the that situation between us private. But yeah, I I accidentally took it out on a good friend. Um, you know, it was it was it wasn't called for. Um, I could have handled our conversation, you know, differently. Um, so yeah, I feel really terrible about that. <clears throat> and um and yeah it just sucks man because I mean 
I, I'm the type of person that I, I really don't like talking about this stuff. I really don't like bothering people with, with my problems. You know what I mean? And I think that's a problem because look what, what just happened. I mean, I snapped on somebody, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, I like to think it's really close to me. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like a brother to me and they, they didn't deserve that, you know? <clears throat> but I mean, like I said in my Facebook post, you know, every man has a breaking point and I finally reached mine, unfortunately. Like I said, I'm not proud of it, you know, and I hope that my Brody can can forgive me, you know what I'm saying, and understand why it happened. Um, I would love for us to have a private conversation, you know, as soon as possible, you know what I mean, because I think that would really help out a great deal, but, um, you know, but again, like I said, I don't like bothering people with my problems, I don't like, you know, because I understand, you know, people got lives, you know what I mean, people got you know, bigger, far more important things to worry about. Last thing I want to do is bother anybody with my problems. Um, I'm still, you know, as you know, keeping busy. I know the uploads, they kind of just stop suddenly. And um, it, 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 it's because, you know, things are just, just been kind of building up. So I'm just, you know, kind of like, you know, kind of kind of take, taking a step back a little bit just to kind of like, you know, recoup, recover. I'm still working out, as you guys can probably tell. My face doesn't look quite as round as it used to. So yeah, definitely on some changes. I found um, some new workout techniques that have been doing wonders. I'm still feeling it in the legs, you know, in the torso area. I found um, some full body workouts where all you need is just a couple of dumbbells and some, some major dynamic moves, you know what I mean, to really help pick up the pace. You know what I'm saying, and get the get the results that that I really need because I want to get the best possible shape in my life before at least before it's summertime. So, but and and yeah, man, still making progress and you know doing my best to eat you know healthy, eat more clean stuff like that. So yeah. So anyway, all right, guys. Enough with the. Uh, all the drama, you know what I mean, bothering you guys with my problems. Let's go ahead and get to what you really came to see, and that is this uh, unpackaging of the Jackson Pierce bundle. Where's my blade at? Ah, here we go. Uh, I like using the Exacto knife. It's quick and easy. Even though I damn near killed myself in one of those like a while back when I severely cut my finger. So let's see what we got here. It's like, it's like Christmas. <laughs> so, okay. Wait, am I forgetting something? I thought there was supposed to be two. Yeah. All right. All right, so before we get into like all the really, well, everything here is, is really important. You know what I mean? So, but I want to go and do this in the proper order. Let's have a look at this card that my man sent me. And uh, so my man says in this letter, Jason, hey, it's been awesome uh, getting to know you better and call you friend. Um, we're the only fucking real ones. Hey, I like that. We're the only, we're the only fucking real ones. <laughs> uh, looking forward to finishing this collab, brother. Thanks so much for all the love and support, your friend Jackson. Hey, JP, I appreciate that. Um, I'm definitely gonna cherish, cherish this card. Um, I definitely want want to frame this. You know what I mean? I definitely want to keep this. Um, I still need to frame the. Uh, the Alpha Team family Christmas card that I got from Alpha Tyler. Shout out to Alpha Tyler, the Brody. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, I definitely need, need to get me some frames to, um, to put these in. Cause yeah, I, I, that's an awesome, awesome note, man. I appreciate that that personal note, dude. That that was fire. For the only fucking real one. <laughs> one thing that he and I have in common man, our love for Family Guy and. Uh, of course, Peter Griffin being obviously our favorite character that we like to impersonate. And then, of course, we got the two wristbands. And yes, my colors, you know, purple and green. Why? I'll give you one guess as to why I chose purple and green. <laughs> Just saying. Um, let me see. I'm going to need my blade again. Uh... 
Uh, I want to see, are, are these glow in the dark? I'm trying to see if maybe these are like some glow in the dark wristbands. They look like they are, but no, nah, I don't think they are. And it actually says, I don't know how well my camera's going to pick it up. I'll try to hold it up as best as I can. Oops. No. This way, smart guy. Okay, no, too bright there. Yeah, yeah you, you, you can actually see um, Jackson Pierce's name is embedded into the wristband. It's pretty dope, pretty stretchy. Go ahead and put this one on so I don't lose it. And then let's open up the purple one. And yeah, as JP mentioned the note, we are working on a, on a collab. We do have a, a track together, which I can't wait for him to wrap that up. Um, not gonna rush him on it though, because he is working on a project. So, you know, just being patient with that. So yeah, there we go. My two favorite colors, purple and green. <laughs> so yeah. And then of course, the uh, Coup de Grace, We've got the Jackson Pierce level headed. And what was it say? Mine is number 11 out of 100. Okay, interesting. Oh, and then he graphed it. I don't know if you can see. I can get my finger to it. Right there. He even autographs it too. So, yes, nice. And also, guys, while we're on the subject of some albums that I got in the mail, I did get uh, Wee Schemes. Uh, voicemail from a loser and as you can see he also graphed uh, his album as well so yeah man yeah got we got you know some couple of fire albums you know what I'm saying here I definitely can't wait to take a deep dive into the uh, level-headed LP man I've been I've been waiting for this thing for so long <laughs> and just hearing the like some of the tunes from the level-headed um, LP you know what I'm saying for a little while as I talk about I really can't wait to um, really take a deep dive into this because some of the songs I was hearing I really like like some of the the, uh, the uh, musical uh, the creative uh, decisions that JP went as far as like his music is concerned um, it's got like a, like a very like mixtape feel to it given the uh, different genres of music that he's incorporating into this album got that little bit of like that that 80s new wave type vibe and then you got some hip-hop songs of course and then some other things in between so yeah i definitely can't wait to take a deep dive into this lp because um yeah i just i, I just love where, where my man is going musically um i love that he's really testing out his vocal range his uh skill set and everything and so yeah all right guys so really hope y'all enjoyed this unpackaging and um oh and real quick um i want to give a shout out shout out to uh inga um she actually reached out to me to check in on me so inga thank you so much i really appreciate that um yeah and everyone else who's been been checking up on me and asking how i'm doing and I, re I really really do appreciate that um yeah that, that that means a lot that lets me know that people really do care about what's going on with me and everything so yeah <clears throat> I'm gonna start to tear up, man. I, I, I didn't know y'all y'all really care that much. I'm just saying. But anyway, <clears throat> yeah, and um, shout out to to Elena too for all her support. And um, she did actually comment on my Facebook post too, where I said I finally reached my breaking point and everything. Um, I think I'm pretty sure she did. Okay, this just got awkward. <laughs> uh, but no, um. No, but all the all the uh, support that Elena's been been showing um, as of late, you know, what I mean, really that really means the world. Um, shout out to Angela Sanchez as well, also been showing her support. Um, <clears throat> and so yeah, um, yeah, pl plenty more videos to come, guys. So yeah, I mean, I'm 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 doing all right, man. I'm doing I'm doing my best, you know. What I mean, just hanging in there um, right now, just just trying to stay busy. Uh, more uh, reactions and reviews will be coming. I am still working on some music too. Um, I did start working on the Up Church remix that I've been uh, teasing you guys about. Um, I did start recording the first verse. It's not done yet. Um, I still got to finish recording the rest of the first verse because there's like a part where it kind of cuts off, and you'll, you'll see once I finally post it uh, why I had to do uh, two separate takes um, with the verse. 
Um, and then uh, I still got to finish writing the second and third verse um, for this remix. So, and I did start writing the uh, second verse. I'm like, I think the last time I checked, I've only got down like maybe like half, maybe half of the second verse. So um, I still got to write the rest of it. And then I got to figure out what I'm going to do for the third verse. And, um, and then that song should be, uh, should be ready for mix and mastering once all that said, once all that is said and done, um, easy for me to say. So yeah, definitely look forward to that. I did buy a couple more, um, a couple of beats last night. Um, there was someone, uh, there's a YouTuber that, um, apparently I subscribed to a while back and I don't remember subscribing to them, but they do some, uh, some West coast style beats. Um, and there was a couple of beats I was listening to last night that I really loved. And, um, so yeah, I'm gonna, once I get done with this remix, um, I'll have a look at those two, those two beats that, that, that I got and, um, see what I can do with those. Um, cause I do want, I, I do want to do more of the West coast style. I know people like the West coast style music or whatever. And because I'm from the West coast, people want to hear that from me. Um, but my thing is, man, if I'm in the mood to do it, then yeah, I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, right now, I just want to make, I, I, I just want to make music. You know what I mean? And I want to make music that I'm in the mood to make. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want to make stuff that I want to hear. You know, stuff that's that that's coming from my heart and from my my uh, my uh, my, uh, my heart, my soul, everything. You know what I mean? I want to make sure that whatever I put out it's got my full attention and I'm putting everything into it you know so <clears throat> so yeah so people can either like, like I said people either are either rocking with it or not it's all good with me either way shout out to everyone that's been showing um, out of my mind a lot of love last time I checked it was up to 2.5k views it's got 20 likes on it so it's already doing it's already surpassed the original which is good um I did make some adjustments uh, to the song for when I, you know, release it on the new album because I, I am putting it on the new album that I'm working on. Um, still no word as to when that album is dropping. Um, it is taking shape. I do got uh, a pretty decent amount of songs on the album that I'm good with. Um, I think last time I checked, I have like around eight or nine songs on the album total. Um, and I'm, I'm thinking about doing a, a 12 track album so I still got a, a lot of work to do on that album and um, I got to figure out the artwork I have an idea what I want to do with the artwork and um, I need to start working on that for the album cover and then um, I already have a, a title in mind <clears throat> so yeah I have a working title for now but that's going to change slightly um, and so yeah so yeah uh, plenty of things are in the works you know what I mean, and uh, yeah, your, and your boy is still taking care of himself, you know what I mean, I'm taking all my anger and all my rage out in the healthiest of ways by working out, eating right, and just working, just working, whether it's at my 9 to 5 or the YouTube thing, the music thing, either way I'm working, so yeah, so that's pretty much where I'm at with everything right now, so yeah, y'all y'all, don't gotta worry, man, your boy ain't going anywhere, you know what I'm saying, I, I didn't get this far just to throw it all away you know what i'm saying so yeah anyway again appreciate everyone who who checked in everyone who's been uh showing love and everything um so yeah and again thank you jp for the awesome letter you know what i mean and the the uh, bundle you know the wristbands even though the green one's trying to dominate the purple one and then of course the autographed copy of the level headed lp i forgot that <laughs> he did say yeah including the bundle is an autographed copy so yeah, I shouldn't be too surprised. <laughs> uh, but man, so yeah, I'm glad I finally got that. And then of course, you know, Wee Schemes, uh, voicemails from Loser album as well. Sorry, I was letting the ring light hit it. But yeah, autographed copy of Voicemail from Loser. So yeah, man, definitely some some dope music coming out from some awesome folks in the community shout out to the homie Wee scheme you know what i'm saying don't forget guys me and him have a cover of lincoln parks in the end that is on my channel it's one of my most recent videos um i'll definitely post like a p playlist of all of my 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 best songs and i believe 
the Lincoln Park cover is the third one in the playlist um, underneath like my most recent releases. Um, <clears throat> and then, uh, of course, look forward to um, the uh, collab that me and JP got coming out. Right now, we're, we have a single um, track that that we're collabing on, and hopefully, hopefully, it leads to um, some more collabs down the road. I mean, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm always down to work with you know with anybody you know what i mean so as long as it's it's positive and everything you know what i mean the vibe is right and everything you know what i mean and they're quality people so yeah and jp is definitely one, one of those folks and i'm definitely definitely glad that i can call him a friend he is definitely a friend you know what i'm saying so yeah <clears throat> yeah man exciting times man it's, it's it's exciting times so yeah i'm i'm doing my best to focus on all all these possibilities all these positive things that that could could come into uh flourishing you know what i'm saying so yeah so again your boy ain't going anywhere man i'm too busy you know what i'm saying um letting you know the the, the negative vibes take me down you know what i'm saying um more music on the way like i said more reactions and more reviews on the way and other fun stuff uh, definitely more gameplay videos on the second channel if you guys aren't subscribed to the second channel go hit the second channel link is in the it's in the uh, description down below and um I, I didn't mean to update the folks at rocket section i need to put jp's channel link in the folks at rocket section so yeah gotta make sure i do that <clears throat> so anyway pretty much it guys so yeah again appreciate all y'all you know what I'm saying? Thank you to everyone who just subscribed. Last time I checked, we are up to almost 6,055 subscribers. We are on our way to 7K. Let's get it. And with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. And y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all next one. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, What's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason? JV. I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name is Jimmy Bass. I just want to have the next video with him. Who's saying what's up, JV? He can't hold the fuck's head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, you're sad. If you're sad, you're sad. If you're sad, you're sad. If you're happy, don't be too happy. Don't be expecting shit. It's like it occurs all the time. So you're ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!